student with a sense of humor asked the other day, so, oh, okay, so I do all this work and I, and I wake up, will I have more sex? Actually, I think he said, will I get laid more, right? And, uh, and uh, it reminds me of uh, a couple of lines, I don't remember the poem, but Rumi, old Zen master Rumi. Uh, there was a poem, and in it it goes, she left me, he left me, thousands more will come. So will you have more pleasure in your life? Uh, it's, it is my experience that yes, that if you're compassionately awake and you can see and be with someone essentially and purely, from Buddha heart to Buddha heart, right, that you become enormously attractive. Right? I've discovered that in my life that, that uh, that uh, that is the case. So if that's something that you're interested in, is a lot of, of, of sexual activity. If you're the conscious being, if you can be in true loving relationship, if you can actually see and experience the divine feminine or masculine, depending on your sexual preferences, right, you'll discover the most remarkable thing. You can actually have divine union. You can have incredible intimacy. Sexual intimacy or is available and part of being. And if you are awake, right, and what you're offering is divine touch. If you're offering for Yab Yum or divine interaction and union with someone which transcends your your normal egocentric limitation, you'll find that available. So it's, it's traditionally taught in tantric traditions. It's not traditionally taught in the puritanical, ignorant religious traditions. <laughs> not to name any, right? Where sex is bad and you know you, you can't you can't have freedom or liberation. So this opens the door to a very interesting argument and question. It's like if I'm awake, right, and sexuality is divine play, then where within my culture, where in my culture is that a possibility? It does not threaten a relationship I have with someone else. It doesn't threaten my ability to raise children, right? So it's like, why isn't it possible that sexuality can be elevated to divine art, right? An interaction between consenting human beings. We we now have birth control, so we don't have to worry about we don't have to worry about that. We're supposed to be evolved intellectually and philosophically, where we could open to the, we could open the doors to that possibility. That's still not permitted, you know, almost universally in our culture, because we're afraid that it threatens the convention. But yes, if I'm d divinely awake, completely awake, right, then if you would like, and you bring that awakeness to your sexuality, and uh, uh, look out, you know, you'll have to build barriers and you know, put up toll gates. And so. So I guess the answer is yes, if that was your desire.